Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Vicious and welcome to a brand new product review. Today I'm going to be doing a hands-on review of a piece of software called System Mechanic. So let me go ahead and explain off front that this is a piece of software that was given to me for evaluation so that I could review it for you. So I have the full version of the software and I will provide an unbiased review. I have been using it for about two weeks now and I've had it in my hands for about a month. And uh, as you might be able to tell from the name of the software, System Mechanic, what this piece of software is developed to do is to maintain and fix your computer so that it runs properly, that it runs optimized. It can prevent uh, things that would cause corruption and, and just break down your system. This happens to a lot of people. I do IT stuff for a living and the number of people that want to hand me their kids' laptops and their computers because it's running slow and things are crashing. That happens all the time. And something like this is made to prevent that from happening. So I think when it comes to what it's supposed to do, it does a really good job. The bad thing though is because it's a piece of maintenance software, once you've already gotten your computer up to an optimal state, you really don't have anything else to do with it except let it run. So when you're looking at it from a review standpoint like I am right now, I can't just run the program like encoding videos and talking about features or uh, a video game or whatever else I might review sometimes I, once I got my computer scanned and optimized it was just kind of sitting here doing its thing so I think the best way to evaluate this is to kind of show you what it does run over the main features that they advertise and then actually jump into the interface and do a couple of things with it and then by the time we get done with that you should have a really good idea of what this piece of software can do and then make an education, uh, educated decision on whether or not you would like to purchase it and use it at home. Now, like I just said, I do IT stuff for a living, and one of the things I do is fix people's computers all the time. And on that basis, I always am looking for tools I can use to fix people's computers conveniently. Uh, from an IT tool standpoint, this piece of software is made for you as a user to use on your own machine, not to be fixing other people's machines. So that's kind of unfortunate that most of the really cool features in here are not made in such a way that I can scan someone else's computer or someone else's hard drive and fix problems. It does, however, have an unlimited home use license, so you can install this on as many computers as you own, and there's no problems with that. So you probably could install this on someone's computer that you're fixing and then run it and tune it and tweak it and then uninstall it when you're done. And while technically speaking, that might not be permitted by the license terms, at least the software should let you do it. So that's up to you if you want to do that under the radar. Um, I'm going to open up the web page here. The, the uh, company that makes this is IOLO. I guess IOLO is how I'm going to say that. And the piece of software is System Mechanic version 12. And I'm going to scroll up and down their product site real quick and just kind of point out some of the features that we have available in here. And then we'll move into the actual software. So we have Stability Guard, which is supposed to help prevent things from happening to your computer that would uh, compromise stability on the system. So if it notices a process, it's starting to have a memory leak or um, files are being modified on your system that shouldn't be modified. This can jump in there and either prevent that activity or, or repair it. We have CRUD remover, and it's supposed to uh, take unnecessary bloatware and such out of your system. It's certified for Windows 8.1. It can do uh, drivers, downloads for you, and driver updates. It can automate that to keep your system up to date. It has uh, Accelerite, which is like a really advanced hard drive defragmentation. It doesn't just defragment data, but it actually will analyze what your operating system and your software is using as far as where the data is coming from on your hard drive and then try to rewrite that data onto your disk so that it's conveniently located all next to each other preventing your drive from having to seek uh, to find that data and so things should load faster now i don't think that's going to be as big of a deal for someone with a solid state disk uh, as it is with a mechanical hard drive but they do state that this works on solid state disk as well Startup Optimizer, uh, to me that would be more or less the same thing, except it's going to go in there and uh, clean out things you don't need to be starting up. And it gives you the ability to look at, they have a database, and it's going to tell you, hey, 95% of the people choose to disable this, or 50% of the people choose to disable this. So it gives you a way as a non-IT person to make educated guesses on whether or not you should disable startup programs. That's a really cool feature. 
We have active care here, and we, here's the driver feature I was just talking about. SSD accelerator. It's supposed to optimize and prolong the life of your solid state disks. Program accelerator. This is what I was just mentioning a moment ago with the uh, unlimited PC license for use at home. We have internet connection repair, so things go bad with your internet connection, and that sometimes does happen. This gives you a way to kind of go in there to the back end and do some advanced tweaks from an easy uh, GUI. Drive accelerator, energy booster. Uh, we have some registry repairs, backup, all those nice tools in there to keep your registry running well. And the registry is where a lot of the corruption and bad things start to happen to your Windows operating system. So maintaining your registry can be really great. We have incinerator, and this is basically a permanent delete. If you did not know this, when you delete something, it goes to your recycling bin. And then when you empty your recycling bin, you take it out of the recycling bin. Yes, you've deleted it from view in Windows, but you still have that data present on your hard drive, and it can be recovered with some software out there. Uh, this is going to overwrite that data and properly destroy it so that you can actually get rid of it permanently. So if you have sensitive information, if you're selling a computer on eBay or something, this could be a really nice feature. We have a PC health status app, which is a little widget, and I'll look into that into a second. Memory mechanic, it can kind of defragment your memory and such. Again, like the solid state disk, I don't think defragmentation is such a big deal with RAM, but anything you can do to optimize is optimization and is, it, maybe it'll make a small difference and everything adds up. Uh, privacy, this is going to be about your internet usage and here are some of the supported internet browsers, all the main ones I see on here. This is good for taking care of uh, tracking cookies and all these other privacy things you want to make sure you keep, keep tabs on sometimes. Uh, we have PC cleanup, uh, smart boost timer, and that was their main page. So this was www.iolo.com, and then look for the system mechanic page. Then you can go in there and look at these in more detail if you want to take the time to read everything about those features. Let's minimize Internet Explorer, and we'll look at the widget. So this is my PC health status. Right now it is saying it's unknown because I need to do a scan on this computer. Once we scan the computer to tell me my current stat status and what we should do to bring it up to the optimal um, levels. And it'll tell you health here, security there, and then the overall. It's a nice little looking widget and it tells you when's the last time you analyzed your system. And um, down below we have the full software suite open as well. So let's go ahead and analyze this system. This is a, a pretty much a brand new Windows image on a virtual machine. So I figured when I scanned with this, it was going to come through perfectly clean. Like, hey, this is a great system. There's nothing wrong with it. But I was actually surprised to see that it came back with some issues. And that was both a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because it means this software knows how to go beyond just standard optimizations and really tweak a system up to ideal levels. And <clears throat> also, it means that it works. It's actually finding things on there. So look what it found. It said that um, my computer has data conflicts with the communication infrastructure. Uh, I have some system clutter. So in other words, defragmenting. They found some registry conflicts, probably some registry keys pointing to files or locations that don't exist. And then also it's telling me that I've never backed up my registry. So that's the uh, first area here. And then when it comes to system security, it's giving me a warning that I don't have any anti-malware installed, so I might want to install that. And then we have up to six unwanted startup programs. So let's go ahead and do this first. And this is what I was talking about a moment ago. Here's my startup programs. It's saying you might want to disable, and it gives you who published it, where it's located, what kind of service is it, or program is it. And then it gives you basically the uh, community vote of how many people say we don't need this or how many people say yes, you want to keep this on. And this helps you make informed decisions of whether or not to keep that software enabled or not. Uh, <clears throat> what I don't see on here, which would be good, is a reading of how much additional time this took as far as booting the system. So if I see something that takes 10 seconds extra I'm going to pay attention to that much more so than something that took 0.02 seconds to load. If it's 
not really slowing my system down too much, then if I see something close to 50 50, I'm just going to leave it on. But if I see something that takes a much longer period of time, then I might say, huh, I might want to disable that, especially if it's something that if I, if I do need it, I can just turn it on when I use the program. That's how programs work. If you don't uh, start a program when your computer loads, that's fine because it'll load when you launch the program. Services are a little bit different, however. So if I was to disable this searching service, chances are it won't come back on when I actually need it and I could actually inhibit my system's function. So I would choose to keep this on, for example, but if I saw a program in here like VMware, I can just well, that's actually a service as well, but I don't have any programs. So again, this is a fresh Windows image, but I would have Adobe Reader. I would have probably some Firefox stuff. I'd have a lot more on my actual production machine. And then I would go ahead and turn those things off. So we'll exit out of that. We don't need to worry about anti-malware right now. We know we just need to go download something. Let's go ahead and back up our registry. And... Now we can repair the registry. And we can remove that system clutter. And we have some data conflicts. And there we go. That is pretty much how this works as far as going in there and running the uh, the fixes that it recommends. And now that we've done that, you can see my PC health has gone to full green on this little widget. And my security tool is showing me that I'm low because I don't have that anti-malware installed. And then as an overall combination, that puts me in like the yellow. Now we'll go into um, other functions here. We have automated tasks that we can enable. We can have it automatically optimize our startup, our system. We can automatically recover unused memory. We can automatically defragment the registry. We can automatically repair things. So this is going to be like kind of autopilot. Get some things on there and let them run in the background so you don't have to worry about taking the time to go in there and do these things manually. Um, <clears throat> live boost, this is going to show our CPU speed, RAM usage, CPU usage. Uh, we can go in there and kind of make sure that we have all of these turned on. We have our power modes. We can go in our modify the uh, Windows power modes, recent activities. Let's go back to the main page. Toolbox. We have all-in-one tools. So here we go. PC accelerator, PC repair, PC cleanup, PC security. So supercharge Windows by enhancing uh, the performance and doing speed boosting tools. This is going to help uh, fix mysterious errors, crashes, and other system failures. This is going to get rid of clutter and free up space on your drive. This is going to repair security flaws that are known about in their database. So what you're looking at is an all-in-one software suite that does exactly what I told you it would do in the beginning. It's going to optimize and maintain your system. There are other pieces of software that can do this, but they do it to what I feel might be a smaller degree. This seems like the most well-packaged, all-in-one version that I've seen so far of any of those pieces of software. And therefore, it kind of warrants itself to a purchase if this is something you think you could use. Again, as a reviewer, it's really hard to say it works or it doesn't work because I don't have a, a computer that's in a really bad state to try to see if it will fix it for me. And I don't ever want to let my computer get to that state. But for those out there who are parents with their kids on their computers or who have very bad luck and it seems like whatever computer you touch always ends up broken, go ahead and try this out. See if it would work for you. And then you can come and reply here to this review to the community and say, you know what? I had a lot of trouble with my computer before and I started using this product and now things are going great. So use the community many eyes are better than one and then you can all feed into this information database here on this video and post below in the comments and let other people know how your experience has been with this product now reviews online are stellar the uh, the major hardware software review sites have given this thing really outstanding reviews so that's a really good notion that hey this is a trusted piece of software from a trusted company um, 
I always take any big media site review with a grain of salt because I don't feel like they always really do detailed reviews. And sometimes I feel like they just say something nice because they're supposed to. I'm going to give you straight up, this is the way it is. And if it was a bad piece of software, it would tell you. So really, I think it comes down to, do you need it? If you have the need for it and you're looking for something like this, then this is a good place to start. I honestly, and I'm telling you honestly, can't think of any piece of software that I can put side by side with this one that does just as much. And if you're using an older mechanical hard drive, I think this offers a lot for you uh, to help make things faster with the drive optimization features that it has. Newer computers running with solid state disks aren't going to make as much of a uh, change with these acceleration technologies, I don't think, because solid state disk already has such a fast read and write, write uh, random access time. So I don't think that's going to help you too much. And that's a big part of what they have in here as far as making your computer feel faster. But if you're using mechanical drives, yes, very, very much of a difference there. So yes, indeed, System Mechanic was reviewed today from I, and hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, I would love to give you more details, so if you have any questions you think I can answer, then just go ahead and post below in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you with those answers. Just want to remind you, this is Vicious. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next time.